electric. So if you're here watching this video, you're probably interested in electric heating, especially air-to-air -air heat pump systems. This is a Toshiba multi-split inverter. This is the heat pump. It's an 8 kilowatt inverter. We've got it connected to three out of the four possible indoor units that we could have. The last video that I did about this air-to-air -air system was more about what we did and why we did it and what system did we buy. This video is going to be more about the detail. Uh, I received quite a few comments saying people wanted more images, more details. So that's what I'm going to try and give you today. Less about me, no images of me, just images of the air conditioning systems, the heating system, and how well it works. So I want to show you the app as well as the actual physical units. For those that want all the details, here's the actual model number. Yep, and it's 72 kilograms in weight. This is not a small unit. 8 kilowatt inverter. It can output 8 kilowatts of heat or cooling power. It says here maximum power 3.9 kilowatts, so that's the maximum that it will actually draw to deliver all of that heating and cooling power. I haven't actually seen it as high as 3.9 kilowatts. It's more 2.8 to 3.4, 3.5 is the maximum I've actually seen. And here it is in its final location. Yep, on the wall. We did not install it on the floor. Quite simply, two reasons. One, I want to use that space where the oil tank is for a garden tool shed. So I want to use that space for something else. But also, I wasn't actually ready to get rid of the oil boiler. So that flue is going to go and the oil tank will go. But I wasn't ready at that exact time to do it. So put it up out of the way. It's not causing anyone any problems. Uh, it's not a noise problem being higher up either. The neighbours can't hear it and uh, we can't hear it either. So everything's good. The white piping there, I think that's the extracting water um, coming off the unit and coming off the uh, other units. And then you've got the isolator there with the red switch and all of the pipes, just as we get around, yeah, the pipes there going up the trunking of the drain pipe. So natty uh, piece of design, hiding away all the electric cables and piping into just one single black pipe matching our down pipe. Nice and neat. I like it. I guess having one of these big boxes on your wall or tucked somewhere around your house is part of the solution. It's part of what you have to do if you want the efficiency of a heat pump. There's no way around it. They don't make tiny ones, not to deliver large amounts of heat and cooling capacity anyway. And what does it sound like while it's on? Well, let's turn the volume up on this video clip to 200% and I'll let you listen. Okay, time to talk about the indoor units. This is the Toshiba Heori indoor unit. Uh, we've got three of these. This one's 3.7 kilowatts. It's our hallway unit positioned near the doorway, not in the center of the wall because we wanted the airflow to head more towards the stairs to spread the heat and the cooling effect, not just in the hallway. So the positioning was about where we wanted the heat and where we wanted the airflow. As you lift the cover, uh, that's the filters. They're the plastic filters. They're very easy to take out and clean or wipe down manually. Um, I haven't really seen anything on them yet, so I was told to clean them every two weeks, but I haven't seen anything at all. So have we got a really clean house or uh, are the filters not that good? So looking on the inside of the front cover, what you can see is the fabric cover on the outside. It's just Velcroed in, so it flips around on the inside. It's held on with some Velcro strips. It's very easy to fit, so if you wanted to change colour of the fabric, you can do. The unit we've got in the lounge, that's another 3.7 kilowatt, exactly the same as the one in the hallway. So nothing extra to show you here. This one's not on. You can see the louvre isn't open, so it's not blowing any air out. The unit in our bedroom is exactly the same shape and size, but it's only a 2.7 kilowatt unit. Somebody said in the last video, now why have I got it above a television? Surely that's bad. Um, one, I think from a 40 inch television below, you can get an idea of the size of the unit. But two, the air doesn't blow out down. I think that's a misconception with these units. Um, what we're doing is blowing it out across. And I'm showing you there the hallway. It's positioned so that it's not just heating the room, but we can blow the air out into the hallway. 
One of the great advantages of these air-to-air -air systems is that it's airflow. You can change the fan speed and you can change the direction of the air. So with this front louvre that's moving up and down, I can divert the air out into the room or more down below where the unit is. Great feature. This video shot is showing you the uh, fins on the inside as well. So as well as up and down, you can also move the air either left or right. And there is actually an oscillating feature. So you can constantly move it up, down, left and right and have the air spreading everywhere. As I'm not an installer, I'm not an engineer, I can't tell you how to install these units. But what I can do is show you a few images of what it's like. In essence, it's drilling some holes, feeding some pipes, providing some power and mounting them on the wall and then connecting them up. There's not much more to it than that, from what I saw. Pictures don't always give you the right perspective and give you the right idea of size. So here's Constantine, the free plush toy that comes with Octopus Energy. That should give you a better idea as to how big these indoor units are. So one way to control these units is with the remote control. Each indoor unit has its own remote control. The light there, the orange light underneath is indicating that this is heating. It would be a different colour if it was cooling or if just the fan was on. It's come on instantly. There's a temperature sensor as well, so I can turn the temperature down. Or turn it up. The remote control is really easy to use, whether you're just changing the temperature, changing the mode from cooling to heating and a fan, etc. The one thing to note is with this split system, I can't have one in cooling mode and one in heating mode. They all have to be in the same mode to operate. Uh, then you've got fan and menu. Menus for changing some of the more detailed options, like whether it's in silent mode or um, whether you're changing the power level of the system. But fan is for fan speed. Fix left and right and up and down is to do with the airflow. So very simple to use, very simple to control the units. One of the control features that uh, I do get to use because we love Alexa here is we can control these using Alexa. So here we go. Alexa, turn off aircon lounge. That leaves the Toshiba Home Aircon app. The front page, I've got a group of three air conditioning units set up, as you can see. Clicking the settings, there's not much really to show here and here about from user information, changing your password, time zone, languages, usual sort of stuff. Um, once set up, I don't touch this at all. Okay, back to the home screen. Clicking the three bars on the top left gives you the options, which I won't go into the details of. There's not much to discuss in there. On the home page next to the settings, what we've got is the timer schedule. So here it's showing the weekly schedule. You can change what day you're looking at and schedule different things in different days. But I tend to just have the same schedule every single day of the week. Clicking on one of the actual schedules, it gives me this. And you can either click on the time um, and then go and change it. So 6.28 is what it's set to. Just change that to 27. Or if I click on one of the actual schedule items, this is basically bringing up the settings for the air conditioning unit. So I can change the temperature, I can change whether it's heating, cooling, change the mode, but uh, put it in silent mode, put it in auto fan speed, change the actual fan speed. There's all of these settings for each individual air conditioning unit. So all of the settings that are available to do manually, you can set in the timer control to have it come up exactly as you want to at the time you want to. The options there for swing are quite interesting. Basically, I can set the degree of the louvre um, as to where the air is going to come out, but also the amount of oscillation. So whether it's going to oscillate up and down or left to right or even both. OK, exiting out of that now, going back to the home screen, we can power the units on individually or all together. And also you can change the modes. So away from air conditioning onto the fan or on drying or cooling or automatic set to the temperature. 
So I'm not intending to make this video a description of everything in the manual, but I will mention that there is an energy monitoring feature, which doesn't work on my devices. Mine don't have the energy monitoring capability, but some of them do. That would be really handy in the app. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it all makes sense and you've learned something about the Toshiba air-to-air -air heating and cooling system. And uh, if you're thinking of going electric, they're definitely worth considering. Take care. See you again soon. Bye for now.